Good day. I am Dr. Muhammad Nasirovic. Would like to present our paper of this international conference related to the environmental and climate change of agricultural products. Our paper ID title is Potential Effect of Some Essential Oils on Rumen Methane Reduction and Digestibility by In Vitro Incubation Technique. For the introduction, livestock contribute to greenhouse gas production through methane and N2O gas production. Methane gas was produced from rumen enteric fermentation and manure production. N2O gas was produced from manure production, especially from pasture system and intensively, intensively product system. The value of enteric methane estimated increasing 30% from year 2000 to 2020 because of the demand. Methane gas has global warming potential 28 times of CO2 and then N2O gas has gas global warming products potential 265 times of CO2. This value is CO2 equivalent as a unit standard to measure global warming potential. Some researchers have been trying to find mitigation strategy to reduce greenhouse gases from livestock. Some strategies are feed and nutrition, animal genetic and breeding, rumen modification, manure and fertilizer management, increasing soil carbon content, and animal health. We use feed and nutrition rumen modification as our strategy using essential oils for ruminant feed additive to reduce enteric methane from ruminant animal. So the objective of this study was to assign the effect of some essential oils with different bioactive compound and different doses on in vitro rumen methane production, gas production, and digestibility value using in vitro incubation technique. The material of using essential oils we use, garlic, clove, tin, cinnamon, mint, and orange peel oils. They were selected because of their major bioactive compounds. We use doses 100, 200, and 300 per We have two incubation techniques. The first incubation technique is tube gas production technique. Using in vitro rumen gas production technique or Hanheim gas test system, we use 200 mg total migration as a subset and was incubated with essential oils and rumen food during 96 hours. From this incubation, we got the data, uh, we got the data cumulative gas production at 3, 6, 9, 12, 24, 48, 72, and 96 hours incubation. And then we got the data in vitro rumen gas methane production at 6 hours using a catarometer methane sensor or EC20. We can calculate organic matter digestibility estimation using specific equation. The finally, we got the modeling of the gold dust total production graphic using the OSCOP modeling. Second incubation technique is paper bag and jar gas production technique. We use DC2 incubator and continuology. The substrate inside the paper bag incubated uh, during 30 hours, mix it with the rumen fluid and buffer solution is uh, inside the jar. After incubation, we analyze NDF digestibility and then we can calculate in vitro through digestibility of dry metal. All of the treatment of 6 essential oil and 4 doses on in vitro rumen gas production, methane reduction and digestibility value was assigned in a factorial complete randomized design. All of data was analyzed using GLM procedure of such statistical package. Result and discussion. We have in vitro methane and gas production, in vitro rumen digestibility and results. For in vitro rumen gas production and methane reduction potential, we found that team essential oil 300 ppm is a lowest gas production, and then club essential oil 300 ppm is the highest gas production total. The team essential oil has in vitro rumen gas production lower than control because of team essential oil bioactive compound, TMOL, has strongly antimicrobial activity, could negative effect to the balanced microbial rumen ecosystem. 
contrast with the club essential oil 300 ppm the eugenol inside the club essential oils could positive effect of the balance romaine microbial ecosystem and then we got the modeling for the gas production uh, of this incubation the a intercept gas production related to the digestibility the ac digestibility fraction b asymptote gas pro production is related to the nec uh, fraction uh, undigestible and then c is rate of gas production and then a plus b is potential of degradability for the in vitro rumen uh, methane reduction potential values all of those is 300 ppm for all of essential oils could reduce methane uh, production in rumen the highest potential methane reduction is from orange peel essential oils orange peel essential oil could reduce methane 72.83 percent and the lowest is from mean three uh, uh, 300 uh, ppm could lower could reduce the methane uh, production in rumen 28.49 percent the uh, in vitro rumen digestibility value we found the data of the some essential oil less than control and higher than control team 100 200 and 300 and then orange peel oils 200 and 300 have in vitro rumen digestibility value lower than control and then cloth 200 and 300 means 100 and cinnamon 200 and 300 have if rumen digestibility values higher than control the other is similar with control this is important to find or to decide optimum of essential oil using with the specific doses so we analyze of general side effect of essential oil on in vitro rumen methane production and digestibility for the general result, we found that clove essential oil 200 and 300 and then cinnamon essential oil 200 and uh, 200 and 300 ppm of the doses are the optimum essential oils because of they could reduce methane production but also they could increasing in vitro through dry matter digestibility unfortunately for team for all doses and then orange pills for 200 and 300 ppm doses it is uh, not recommended for using because of they could reduce methane reduction methane production in women but they could also reduce the in vitro through diameter digestibility specifically for women orange pill oils orange pill oil has uh, highest tell you methane reduction potential but they could increasing in vitro to diameter digestibility so for the conclusion is all essential oils reduce in vitro rumen methane production at 6 hour incubation compared to control at 300 ppm and there was no negative effect on in vitro digestibility this result would be important to decide using essential oils as fit additive which are optimum for environmental also increasing productivity there are some recommendations for future strategy using essential oil as fit additive assessed by in vitro and in vivo tests with different doses and combinations the essential oil of fit additive could be marketable because of environmental friendly and profitable thank you very much